Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So it's going to be for my Virgos that are dealing with another Earth sign, another Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now this is a general message, Virgos, okay? So just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who reach out for those and thank to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Okay. All right, what do we have? Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. And going forward. Okay. I've got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. With the hangman and I'll be back. And then you have freedom is a state of mind. Someone here... Okay, I was going to say someone here could be healing from something with a star card. Okay, maybe they have hope for this situation. Um, but freedom is a state of mind. This is, tells me that someone here is getting over something. Okay, uh, this is telling me that someone here is either has or is trying to or needs to step into a position of power, of control. This is not allowing anything to worry you. This is I'm going to do what I want to do. Right? And then I'll be back. But we have the hangman, which is also an energy of maybe it can talk about delays. OK, but the hangman is also um, somebody seeing something from a different perspective and then the wheel of fortune. So it makes me feel like things are happening in divine timing. Now, the first card to come out is the judgment. OK, now the judgment kind of gives me this energy of um, someone having some sort of awakening or somebody needing to make some sort of final decision. Um Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting something about maybe the moon cycle, maybe this full moon um, that we just had. I don't know. I'm just looking at the wolf on the shield here. But this could also tell me that someone here may have to find the courage to fight for something. It's almost like they're showing me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someone is going to. I don't know if someone here is going to switch up on someone in terms of what they're showing me is that bit from um, Twilight where, uh, what's his name? Damn it. Not Edward. I need to know his name. Hold on. How could I forget? Jacob. Of course, Jacob. Um, one of my favorites in Twilight's, right? But they showed me the bit when Jacob um kind of was running and um it's almost like he changed from human form into a werewolf. But it's just making me making me feel like maybe, like I said, maybe someone here has to switch on someone in order for you know to get their point across or to defend themselves. I don't know why I'm picking up. But going forward, yeah, we have a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink, which gives me the indication of somebody getting over some sort of obstacles or pulling through something, right? Or recovering from something. What is this? Mother goes dealing with a, another earth sign. Thank you, spirit. What is the judgment card? Now, uh, someone also here could want your forgiveness for something, Virgos, okay? But what is this? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the key coming in the reverse. Now, in the upright, it says unlocking, it says answer, it says destiny, it says openness, and it says solution and fulfillment. But it's coming out in the reverse. Now, the key is also a number 33, which boils down to a six. It makes me feel like, like I was getting that energy of somebody fighting for something, right? There could be something holding this other earth sign back here, Virgos, right? Um, because in the reverse, it talks about somebody not having all the answers. It talks about somebody feeling like there is some sort of blockages in their way. Um, it also talks about somebody feeling unfulfilled here. But it's an energy of somebody not going towards their destiny. Show me going forward. Mm. Could have something to do with religion, right? Maybe you're dealing with someone who has a lot of problems, a lot of burdens on their shoulders here. 
Again, someone could just be going through some sort of grief. It may have something to do with a death. Again, my condolences if, if that is the case. But let's see. Because we have going forward is the dog. And it's a number 18, which boils down to a nine, which is like that energy of the wounded warrior, right? The nine of wands kind of um, thing. But we all know that the nine of wands is an energy of resilience. It's an energy of pushing through, it's fighting, right? It's about not giving up. Robins could be significant to someone here, or that could be someone's name. Um, but the dog, it says friendship, allies, loyalty, trustworthy, support and obedience. And you see how this dog is going? It's almost like some, It's like the dog is leaving this house, right? Like it's going on a brand new journey, almost like the fool card here. But it feels like somebody, like I said, they get through something and they're able to move forward. So for some of you, this could be a friend that maybe you're supporting here. Or this is someone that wants to come towards you because you are trustworthy. This could be someone wanting to come towards you to be loyal. So maybe this is someone who was um, deceptive. But show me more. Yeah, it's almost like somebody charging in with that knight of swords and the sun charging towards... Happiness, charging towards positivity here. But give me a clear message. Virgos dealing with another earth sign. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups. Good news, something moving to the next level. Look at that, the Ten of Cups. Happiness, emotional fulfillment here. Manifesting, I just saw the magician. But for some of you, someone here has a choice to make with that Two of Pentacles energy, okay? All right, Spirit, give me a clear message. Just saw the King of Pentacles. One more shuffle. And three of cups. Celebrations. Or again, it's maybe a third party situation. What is this judgment with a key in the reverse? Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, spirit. Show me more. So we got the nine of cups. We got the nine of swords. So the number 99 could be significant here. Nines is also that energy of somebody being very close to something, okay? So, show me more. You have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's that indecisive energy. Now, the Nine of Cups could, you know, it talks about your wishes and dreams coming true, okay? Um, it talks about fulfillment. It talks about, again, this energy of satisfaction, what we were talking about here. Something, you know, having the potential to be um, abundant. Uh, it talks about, I don't know, um... Just success, positivity, joy. But the nine of swords is anxiety, stress and worry. And why? Because I feel like someone here has a choice to make, two of pentacles. But clarify this nine of cups. You could also be dealing with someone who maybe drinks a lot. What is the nine of cups? What are we getting stuck on, spirit? The wheel of fortune. Something here is fate and destiny. You could be dealing with a soulmate. I just saw the Six of Cups. What is the Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? This is good karma. Yeah, definitely soulmate energy. But you see, we have the Death card here. Scorpio energy. This talks about spiritual transformation. The Death card does talk about ending one thing so that you can begin something else here. So I feel like... What is the Death card? I feel like this person may have something to release. The Seven of Cups, they may have options. This person may just be confused, which is why they procrastinate in here. And the Nine of Wands, which I was talking about. What is the Seven of Cups? Yeah, choices, decisions. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Swords, Five of Wands. Okay. What is this Nine of Swords? The Knight of Cups. <laughs> okay. And show me more. And the World card. For some of you, this person may watch you online. They may admire your strength, your courage, right? Your confidence here. Or this is what they need to pull on. Because with the Knight of Cups, this talks about uh, some sort of romantic proposal or offer, invitation. It talks about somebody taking some sort of action, okay? This person is on their horse. And it's almost like the horse is bowing its head here. So, 
I mean, the the, the Knight of I'm saying the Knight. Did I say the Knight of Swords? Knight of Cups? Knight of Swords? Knight of Cups? I don't know. This person could definitely be spying on you, Knight of Swords. Uh, that's the Page of Swords, man. I don't know if this person is confused. <laughs> The Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups talks about um, somebody offering you something. What is the world with the Knight of Cups? Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords. Clarify. And the lovers. Okay, so uh, Virgos, I don't know if this is someone who is struggling financially or like I said, they may have some sort of choice to make uh, when it comes to relationships or whatever. What is the Two of Pentacles? <laughs> the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's, this is walking away, abandoning a certain situation. Show me more. It's an energy of moving on. And then you have the Four of Cups. What is the Four of Cups? The Four of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Full card. I don't know, for some of you, I don't know if this is someone who, you know, they may miss an opportunity if some choice isn't made. Um, the Four of Cups is an energy of somebody feeling like they missed an opportunity. It talks about regret and stagnation. So I don't know if this person is in another situation, right? Okay, if they are in another situation, then they need to let go of the idea of you. I don't know. It doesn't take a genius, you know? It's very straightforward. I just heard cutthroat. I mean. Maybe they're afraid of your communication, Virgo. <laughs> what is this moving forward? Thank you, Spirit. You have the judgment coming out again. You have the Eight of Wands. Okay. So that is some sort of movement or at least communication here for some of you. Or something is happening at great speed. It can also represent traveling. Oh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So is that what this person's issue is? That they just feel like they don't have enough to give to the situation? I feel like then, I don't know if you would even want to be with this person then, Virgos, you know, because it, that would give me the energy of somebody being very materialistic. It's a lack of money, poor financial control. But show me more. What is the judgment? Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands? Page of Cups. So this person may want to offer you some sort of an apology, okay? Uh, what do they want Virgo's forgiveness for, Spirit? <laughs> King of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Cups. And Star Card. Show me more very quickly. Ten of Wands. Five of Wands. And a Six of Cups. I definitely feel like for some of you this is a soulmate. Now for some of you, okay, just uh, they may want to apologize to you for being emotionally unavailable. OK, maybe they had too much responsibilities or maybe they were under stress here. It just feels like they for some of you, maybe at the time they just couldn't commit to you. OK, and I don't know if it's because their emotions just wasn't in the right place here. This may have been someone who has some sort of issues when it comes to letting love in or accepting love or. Because you've got the five of ones and the ten of cups. So again, I don't know if they're in a marriage or this is someone who has some sort of issues. This could even be a family member of yours, right? Take it out, resonates. Um, but there's some sort of conflict and drama here.
I'm hearing for some of you, it's almost like for someone here that you may have another earth sign that wants to apologize for you for causing some sort of imbalance. Now, I don't know if that was an imbalance to your emotions, to your happiness, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, um, to your options. But show me what the Eight of Wands is moving forward. Thank you, Spirit, the devil. Hmm. And the lovers, whoo, anytime I get that combination, it makes me feel like, like I said, someone here has some sort of choice here to make between a toxic connection and, and a blessed one. I feel like that's the easiest way to put it. They may be attached to someone that, you know, where there's, there's a, some sort of, I uh, heard trauma bonding, or this could be, you know, people that share the same demons, addictions, codependency, something. What's the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Damn, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like someone's money has come to some sort of halt as well. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. What is the Three of Pentacles? The Four of Wands. Page of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. And the Three of Wands. I feel like for some of you, where this is maybe someone who maybe needs to make a choice, right? Or um, now, again, everybody has free will. I'm just saying what I see. Uh, for some of you, where this person has to make a choice, or maybe this is about relocating, okay, or where they live or something like that. I feel like for some of you, they're going to look at this. You got the Four of Wands here, but then you also have a Four of Wands energy here. It's almost like for some of you, this person imagines if they were in some sort of partnership with you. Page of Wands is good news. This is communication. It may come in in the future here, okay? Um, what is the energy in love? Thank you, Spirit. There it goes in with another Earth sign. Okay, so coming out sideways, oh, oh, ouch, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> what's the energy in love? Maybe it's, maybe it's a relationship that they're having with this other person, but coming out sideways, which I feel like is a blockage, okay? You have not today, it says not dealing, it says her avoiding conversation, it says call person boundaries, still angry. And then you have mirror. It says mirroring each other. It says self-image, reflections. It says, it says reflect our wounds and introspection. So again, this person may be going through some sort of healing. There is some sort of betrayal here. You have stabbed in the back. It says heartbreak, pain, separation, deception and shocking attack. And then you have it with the axe. It says break up, separation, stop the pattern. It says silent treatment, abandonment. So like I said, this person may be going through something here. And it looks like spirit is going to have to put them through some sort of betrayal in order for them to open their eyes. You have judgment out here twice. This is someone who has to realize what is holding them back. What is keeping them, I want to say, from their destiny. But then you have the coffee cup. It says meeting, conversing. It says savoring the moment. It says feeling uplifted and friendship. So yeah, for some of you, this could be a friend, right? Maybe they're just in a really bad relationship. Um, what is this coffee cup? Yeah, we have date. It says meeting someone new. It says getting back out there. It says plan, set a date. You have photograph. It says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. You have engagement ring. It says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion and union. And then we have talking. It says interested. Conversing more. A weighted message arrives. It says text, call, email, hovering. For some of you, this person is that energy of writing out messages and saying, nah, I'm not going to send it. <laughs> what is the energy for the other earth sign going forward? Thank you. You have pride. 
So this person may be allowing pride to get in their way. Yeah, soulmate at the bottom of the deck. What is the energy from a Virgos going forward? What is the energy from a Virgos going forward? Thank you, Spirit. You have discovered your life purpose. And look how we have two people here. Someone could play an instrument. But you know how I'm seeing this as well, right? You have this woman just sitting down, listening to this man playing this violin, okay? Oh, okay, spirit. Not too much. <laughs> now, what I am noticing, okay, is that, like I said, this may be someone who wants to come and speak to you, okay? They may want to tell you about all their problems with this little violin. <laughs> okay. But what I am, what else I'm seeing here is that I'm noticing like a mountain in the back. Okay. Like I said, there may be some sort of obstacle here in between you and this person. For some of you, I really feel like this person is going to get over this obstacle. Now, what else I'm noticing is that we have like a shadow figure <laughs> above this man. Okay. But it is like a shadow. It's not there in the real form. And it is looks like another woman. So again, they may have someone who is very codependent on them or very clingy or, like I said, maybe won't let them go. But like I said, I feel like this person, <laughs> see this dog? I feel like someone escapes here. What is the advice from my Virgos? Thank you, spirit. Advice from my Virgos. So you have growing up. Yeah, I think I said that. It says wanting to grow in experience. It says rejection of something youth. You have lead the way. Okay, so we already had the three of wands out here. It says be a leader. It says show others how it's done. It says you can help others unless you have helped this person somehow, some way. And then you have changed in the night. It says you have changed quickly. Hmm. So, Virgos dealing with a, another Virgo. You have, yeah, it came out sideways. So, again, this could have something to do with some sort of family that maybe this person has. It says foundation. It says established family and security. Or, like I said, there's some sort of blockage for you to have this with this person. Virgos dealing with a, another Virgo. We have influences. It says attachments, third parties and peers. So, there is some sort of third party interference. But look at this. <laughs> what I say? Someone here is going to find the strength to do something. You have finality. It says farewells. It says leave behind and closure. Unless you're going to be walking away from this other Virgo. Okay. So Virgo is dealing with a Taurus. Thank you. Virgo is dealing with a Taurus. You have heart fog. It says mixed signals. It says blocked emotions and messed up. You have elusive, it says dishonesty, trickery and deception. And then you have distance, it says separation, space and blockage. So for some of you, you're dealing with a Taurus that is a liar. And it could be because they're just confused about their feelings and emotions. But you may feel like it's the best thing for you to do is to distance yourself. Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> I almost want to say for some of you that are dealing with a Capricorn, um, I don't know if I want to say that. They may be going to jail. Now, the first card that came out, which is interesting for Capricorn, right? The devil card. <laughs> you have curse. It says hex, witchcraft, and negative mind. You have pain. It says apprehensive, afraid, and cautious. And then you have emotional storm. It says turmoil, unstable, and unaffected. I mean, affected. Hear me, unaffected. Um... I don't know who's in the emotional storm. I don't like this hex curse, okay? Some of you, you may have had a Capricorn that worked against you, maybe because you hurt their feelings. Um, for some of you, you know, Virgos, be careful if you feel like you just kind of get in this emotional state and be careful that you don't have some sort of hex on you. You know, cleanse your space, cleanse yourself kind of a thing. Reach out to your ancestors and your angels. 
Um, but Virgos dealing with another earth sign. That is what I have for you. If anything has resonated, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. I ask that you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, cross watcher. If this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light.